Is there anybody like, cuter? I don't think so. They are more likable. I don't think there's anybody. I think no, you're by yourself. The meter. I think two of these ladies I'm looking at right now are very likable, just to say. Yeah, I'm you haven't read very, our Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you are. There's like th that there's nothing Guys. to not love about you, so stop it. Okay, I'll stop it. You're right. Uh, just there's stop nothing it. wrong with me. Am I wrong? Wow. No, you are totally spot on. <laughs> and if you want to know how adorable she's you got you have this new book out. Yeah. And it kind of shows the real you. My squirrel days. It's yeah. squirrel I love days. that cover. That you, yellow just pops. It's, it's a good sunshiny yellow. You ladies are very nice to bring up my book. Yes, it's a collection of personal essays. It's light. It's funny. Um, it's 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 like you and we were talking about it because mm -hmm. we know we get everybody and everybody's books all through here and yep. some you don't respond to the same way uh, mm -hmm. And I just fell in love with it when mm -hmm. I started reading it. I said it's just like it's just like you I said it's obvious. This is not ghostwritten. You actually wrote it and it's it's about it's seemingly about nothing But it's about everything. Well, that's sort of it yeah. I was trying to figure out okay Well, how do I talk about these stories that are that we've all been through yep. that are very relatable kinds of stories about yeah. growing up and you know Finding a job and all that stuff, but how do you make something of it? Because that's sort of, I think, where like the right. big moments are. are the in stuff that, of life. Yeah. 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 The seemingly nothingness is what stuff happens. You, you yeah. know what? You little squirrel. <laughs> you little squirrel. Oh, yeah. and when, you know what's funny? When I look at you, I think about like all the actresses who wish or want to have a sitcom. And I bet you they're, they're looking going like, I wonder how. Like, how does it work? You're a nice person. You don't seem to have sharp elbows. It's not like you mowed over people to get where not you are. Not that we know of yet. <laughs> <laughs> She's exactly right. We're waiting for the second book. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, it's fine. What, like, oh, how, goodness. without being aggressive, did you make it to the top of this profession? As we all know, and you're very nice to give me mm -hmm. that compliment, but so much of it comes down to timing and good luck. And I think mm -hmm. if you work hard and you put the pieces in place, and you're, I think one of the most important things is being in the right time at the right place. So yeah. I think, of course, like you guys are yeah. emblems of just working hard and being mm -hmm. nice. And I think that that can get you really far. But also luck. Luck has a yeah. huge amount to do with it. So. And yeah. you know, sleeping your way to the oh, top. Oh, sleeping your way to the top, no doubt. <laughs> Can we tell? We got our hands on your first headshot, by the way. Uh -oh. We just wanted to take so it. So cute. Oh, Look guys. Then you say in your book, you said your 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 cheeks are full of, of nuts. Of Looks squirrel like nuts. I'm storing little nuts, like a squirrel. <laughs> but I mean, Wait, how old were you there, Ellie? I think I was 25. And why is there so much corduroy in that? On that particular and you're covered up every year. The, you're the anti starlet in that. <laughs> I know. Aren't you supposed to be like a little bit vulnerable in your and headshot? A little more like, come on, I'm behind oh, yeah. a suit of armor. No, you are. Come on, it's just, come on. Let's eat some nuts. You know, <laughs> I got the chili. Did you bring the nuts? I don't know. Did your <laughs> parents say to you, Ellie? Like, let's you, you should do this because I a lot of parents are practical and they're yes. like, good for you with your hobby, right? But let's get uh, to you know, what about work? a real job, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, as and now as a mother, I understand that you want your kid to be able to take care of him or herself. But uh, my parents were always very supportive. Um, I do think they weren't sure how long I would try to go after this, but yeah. I started booking commercials very luckily relatively early on, and then I think they thought, oh, well, maybe there is, There's something, maybe there is there. something to it. Same thing, and you can pay a lot of bills with commercials. Yeah. yeah. As you're waiting for the yeah, next yeah, thing. Yeah. I mean, I would have never lasted early on in my career oh, without commercials. Oh, and you, Grateful it's, for them. it's so amazing when that happens. And I got every food commercial I tried out for. Did, what did you, you get? get? I got, you like, like, the girl next door yeah. that yeah. eats everything. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> I, 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 I don't, like, a aqua, oh, can I say a brand? Sure. I got a water aquafina. That was it. Aquafina. Perfect team. But Aquafina's no. water. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I thought water. Aquafina I thought was fresh. You're thinking. Oh, maybe. Aquafina's yeah. just uh -oh. water, but that's but yeah. that's well, she fresh. She looks like she has a lot of fluoride. Yes, if you drink a lot of fluoride in your water, you have right. nice teeth. You do talk in your book about being on the red carpet for the first time. Yeah. Like, at, where were you at the Oscars? At the, at the Emmys. Emmys. At the Emmys. Yeah. What was that? What was that experience well, like? You guys know how the red carpet is. I mean, is that? It's so weird. It's surreal. Because, it's surreal because it's like. The, one of the luckiest places to be, but there's a huge amount of stress going on to it. This is from this is from the Oscars. Oh, I got to present an award. That, that, look at how long those bangs are. Oh, you guys. you're beautiful. No, why didn't I cut those bangs? I couldn't see. <laughs> and in fact, Christopher Plummer, <laughs> aka Captain Von Trapp himself, was in the green room, and he uh, he I heard him asking for a cup. There he is. I heard him asking for a cup of water. So I was like, I will get him. I love Captain Von Trapp. Yeah. I love his time. He hated that movie. I know. I which know. I was so, how do you? Which I'm so. So Never meet your heroes. <laughs> I'm so sad to hear that. And I ran, what happened I ran to, to get this water. man, this, my hero, a, a glass of water, and then I, because my bangs were obstructing my vision, I tripped. I spilled the water. He was, he was oblivious to the whole thing. I mean, he's Captain Von Trapp. He has other, other fish to fry. But, 
bigger fish to fry. But I, I fell. I mean, that's a, a oh, cautionary tale. Always cut your bangs. <laughs> you never know when you're going to run into somebody who's going to break your heart. <laughs> exactly. Oh, All right, this God. is the time where we play our little Tuesday Tuesday thing. So okay. we give you two scenarios, and you decide of the two awkward situations, which would you rather? Okay, great. All right, here's the first yep. one. If you had to choose to live in a haunted house with ghosts or infested with bugs, what would you choose? Absolutely haunted with ghosts. Oh, yeah. really? Absolutely. Because, you know what? Ah, I think it's back! Because <laughs> you can make friends with them. You can talk sense into them. And also, I think the presence of ghosts is so reassuring. It's like oh. there's something else going on. Right. Do you it's know what I mean? It's not just us here it's on not Earth. Just it's not, us. not all yeah. about me. It's not all about me. Well, it is. But it's also about the ghosts. The all right. All right. If you had to choose to be a fly on the wall of your boss's office or a fly on the wall at your husband's office. That's <gasps> that's a horrible one. That's a horrible oh, one. What would you choose though? I guess boss's office. Yeah. Because is that weird? No. I mean, I should know everything about my but husband. You, but but I, the, you never know. You never know. You and never know. I don't. Well, I don't know. You don't want to be that person. Kind of. The boss yeah. stuff at least you can keep in the work box. So right. like if there's something terrible that comes up, well that's work. That's fine. Right. But when but you if come it's your home, personal you life, you can get another job. You can get yes. another job. But, but, yeah. All right. You can also get another answer. Very possible. If you had to choose to never be able to brush your no. teeth again or never be able to wear deodorant again, yeah, which you would you choose? You could take palm leaves and do something. Yeah, but you couldn't could you just gargle? I guess that you wouldn't could do much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. That doesn't always, get the plaque right. off your teeth. You're yeah. right. So sad. Uh, uh, yes. I was trying you to tie in Aquafina. No, we all, you, we, all, we all sort of have great teeth. Um, I would choose to not... I would deodorant. not wear deodorant. Yeah. That would be fine. Would it? So do you would need the, deodorant? No, deodorant other things are natural I, things you can use. By the way, some people I, don't need it. That's not fair. There are people. I mean, if I don't have it, you'll Watch know out. about <laughs> it. I need it. Some don't. But you know? my mom needs they it. They just I have healthy need... sweat glands. <laughs> that's all. That's a healthy thing. Isn't that a good... Right? It, right, it is. You want to get rid I of the toxins so. in Cooling your body. mechanism. Yeah. Cooling okay. mechanism. Look at y'all looking at the bright side. If you had to choose to work out every day for a month, or go a month without working out, what would you choose? I'm, I, I would work, work every out. day for a yeah. month. I think yeah. we all would. Like, that, it's all about, yeah, yeah. 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 otherwise yeah. I go, go crazy. Go crazy. Stress reliever right. in the whole If best. you had to choose yep. to do a reboot of The Office or a sequel to Bridesmaids. I don't know if I can choose on this but one. So, but you must. But you must. You simply you must. must. I guess I'll do a reboot of The Office. Because, I don't know. I know that's, Why? Why? that's, that's a steady gig. It's a steady gig. Mama's <laughs> thinking about the, no. how's, the that, dollars. how's that cute baby of yours, oh, by the way? So, oh. Are they crazy? He is, he's going to be a fireman for Halloween. Of course he is. What was Haley? What was Haley's going to be a, a bumblebee. Of course she is. But you know what's cute about what I love about Ellie? Everything. Every time we ask her something, mm -hmm. she says, yeah, but you. Remember you? I know. Oh, she oh, always, always. That's what you do. Yeah. We're on to you. We're on to you. I just you. wrote about something in the, in, um, on today, just on Twitter, because I said, mentioned it for our friend Debbie. I said, I said the world is such a dark. You know, I said, I want to be in the construction business, yep. not the destruction business. Mm -hmm. And we can all choose to build something yep. beautiful. Yeah. Yes. You know, and that's what you do every time you show up. Mm -hmm. You're in the construction business, Missy. Oh, my gosh. And you're not wearing a hard hat. hat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Woo! my motto. There you Did go. Did you hear this one? <laughs> A business and I'm not wearing a hard hat. That's right. By the way, if you want a song that makes you feel good, I just played it yesterday, Martina McBride's Anyway. If you're in a funk, Ooh. play the song Anyway by, Mar by Martina McBride. It'll, it'll make you feel good. Okay.